betrayal. For so long, I believed that my hero, Aaron Franklin, aka Barbecue Jesus, aka God Emperor of Brisket, aka Salt and Pepper Bay, only uses salt and pepper on his briskets, but it's recently come to light that he uses all kinds of other stuff, and it might not just be limited to rub. I ate at Franklin Barbecue recently, and it tasted like the brisket slices were coated in a buttery, oily substance that didn't just taste like beef tallow to me. So I came up with a theory that they might be mixing their beef tallow with something like this, a butter blend, or something like this, which is a butter substitute. Is this theory confirmed, convincing, or just plain crazy? That's what we're gonna find out in this video, so let's get smoking. Franklin Barbecue makes some of the best brisket in the world, and when I ate there, it did not disappoint. If you're a barbecue aficionado, it's almost like a rite of passage to go there and experience the camaraderie of the line and the amazing food. When I went there, I had a feeling I really hadn't had since I was a kid. It almost felt like going to Disneyland for the first time. I was excited, I was nervous, I was starstruck, I was awestruck. Keep in mind, I'm such a fan that years ago, I built a scale model of Franklin Barbecue, complete with little people in the lineup. So believe me when I say that it's very hard for me to be critical of anything that Aaron Franklin or Franklin Barbecue does, but I have a stronger obsession, something that overshadows my fanboyism and my unhealthy fascination with Aaron Franklin. I am possessed of a single-minded preoccupation to make the best brisket possible. A bucket brisket, if you will. A brisket of such beauty and excellence and perfection that I will never be able to duplicate it again, and it will steal the joy out of cooking from me because I will never again be able to equal it. So, every time I cook at home or I eat at a barbecue restaurant, I tend to be pretty critical of the brisket. I pick them apart for things that I like, things that I don't like, things that I wanna take home to use on my brisket so I can improve my craft. I turned those finely tuned critical skills towards my hero's brisket on that fateful day, and I made a couple of videos about my impressions on it. But the most interesting thing that I found is that the brisket appeared to be coated in some kind of oily or buttery substance that was something in addition to just straight tallow. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's popular to add beef tallow when wrapping a brisket. And once it's unwrapped, you take the tallow on the cutting board and coat the slices in it. It makes the brisket look and taste juicier, even if it's overcooked and dry. And of course, fat is flavor, so it just makes it taste way better. It's pretty well accepted that Franklin Barbecue uses beef tallow when they wrap their brisket, so I expected that, but look, I've cooked hundreds of briskets before, and I know what beef tallow tastes like. It's very thick in terms of mouthfeel. It has a very beefy flavor, and the oily substance slash tallow mixture coating the Franklin brisket was the opposite of that. It was very thin in mouthfeel. It was thin and oily instead of thick. It was salty, and it was also not as beefy as I'm used to. It was very neutral in flavor, like a neutral oil. At first, I thought they were just adding something like just straight soybean oil to their tallow and mixing that together in some sort of ratio. But then after a multi-year hiatus on YouTube, Aaron Franklin drops this video. I pulled out three pounds of butter, and this is what we use at the restaurant. This is a butter blend. That butter blend he's using in the video is Sun Glow European style butter blend, and he even says that he uses it in the restaurant, at least on the turkey. Now, that was a turkey video, of course. He did not say that he's using that butter blend on his briskets as well, but it can be assumed that he probably has a ton of this butter blend sitting around the restaurant. He's an accomplished culinary professional, a pit master, a chef. He's constantly experimenting and improving. So is it such a stretch that he might look at the tallow that is sitting around in his restaurant and all of the butter blend and realize that both of them are fat soluble, they can be mixed together and it might taste better. Well, if we're thinking about this like clue, that would mean that he has the means to do it, he has the opportunity to do it, but does he have the motivation? Well, possible motivations could be that it's maybe cheaper than using straight tallow or it's more efficient, but I think that the number one motivation would be that it tastes better. So that's a big question in my mind. Does it make the brisket taste better? So I set out to test that with two choice briskets. For the first one, I prepared a mixture of half tallow and half this. It's a butter blend from Canada because I live in Canada and I can't get the sun glow stuff where I live. I heated it up on the stove to remove the milk solids and then I turned it into clarified butter blend. If you just heat it until the solids separate on the top and the bottom, then it creates a pretty neutral tasting clarified blend. And if you heat it longer, it starts 
starts to take on kind of nutty flavors and eventually the butter solids caramelize and it tastes kind of like salted caramel. Lots of versatility and opportunity to experiment, but for this video, I just went with the basic neutral tasting clarified butter. I then wrapped the briskets with my 50-50 tallow clarified butter blend mixture and I let it hold at 150 for 15 hours to finish it. Now, moving on to the second brisket, the butter blend that I used in this video is canola oil based, but the Sun Glow butter blend that Aaron Franklin used in his video and that he uses in the restaurant is soybean oil based, which is a pretty big difference in terms of flavor profile. So to get closer to that flavor profile, I got this. This is phase oil. It's a liquid butter alternative that's used by restaurants and most importantly, it's soybean oil based and made by the same company that makes the Sun Glow European blend. So I figured it would be a closer proxy for the flavor profile of the Sun Glow. I mixed half tallow with half phase oil and I wrapped the second brisket in it. I then let the brisket hold for 15 hours at 150 to finish. Then I got ready to taste test both briskets, starting with the tallow butter blend mixture brisket. Okay, this is the brisket that was wrapped with the clarified butter blend and the tallow 50-50 mixture. I'm really excited about this because this is kind of the culmination of a lot of experimentation I've done. And I'm really hoping this tastes really close to the Franklin brisket I had when I was in Austin. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over just to get everything nice and coated in the mixture. At first glance, it's a lot more liquidy than when I just normally wrap with tallow. You can really tell that right off the bat. The brisket looks amazing though. I'm gonna have to put a towel there to soak this up because it's so liquidy. Okay, let's cut this in half. It's cutting really nice. I'll give you guys a look. It's a nice looking brisket. It's really juicy. I think it's gonna be good. Let's take a slice from here and then I'll take a slice from the point. Now I'm going to get some of the mixture on my hands and just like at Franklin Barbecue, I'm going to kind of slather it on the slice and then they would usually put it on a tray. I'll get the lean and the fatty both coated. Now let's give it a taste. Starting with the point, the fat is really well rendered. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed when I tasted this is it's not very oily. Usually when I use tallow to wrap my briskets, there's a lot of fat on the cutting board and there's not much here. It looks more watery and it looks like the juices from the brisket. Maybe the butter blend tallow mixture got into the foil and then went into my holding chest. I'm not quite sure, but it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of fat in here. So I'm just gonna take some straight butter blend from uh, the source here. This is the 50-50 mixture of, of butter blend, clarified butter blend and tallow. And I'm just going to put some directly on the brisket and see if that makes a difference. And it does make a difference. When the straight butter blend tallow mixture is on the brisket, it tastes a lot closer to what I experienced at Franklin Barbecue. I can barely taste any of the butter. I don't get a butter hit from this at all. I don't know where that butter flavor went, but it's very, very subtle. It doesn't taste like uh, a stick of butter or butter that you would spread on toast. It doesn't taste like movie popcorn or anything like that. Uh, I can't even taste any butter at all, which uh, is consistent with what I tasted at Frankel Barbecue. The other interesting thing is that this butter blend has a little bit of salt in it. It's almost imperceptible, but it's there. And when that salty oil is applied to the outside of a slice, it coats the entire slice with salt. So you're getting a salt hit throughout instead of just the thin part of the bark, which is really interesting. And it really brings it closer to what I experienced at Franklin Barbecue. But it's tough to tell. It could just be tallow mixed with salt that they're using at Franklin Barbecue, or it could just be straight tallow. What I'm interested to try now is whether the phase oil mixed with the tallow tastes any closer to the Franklin Barbecue brisket that I tried. Okay, here is the brisket with the 50-50 tallow and phase oil mixture. Again, I'm gonna flip it over and now we'll unwrap it. There's a lot more oil in this one. I can tell it's not as liquidy. This looks way closer to the juice that was coming off of the butcher paper when I went to Franklin Barbecue. So this makes me think that the butter blend tallow mixture in the previous brisket, some of that oil could have just escaped into the, the holding chest for some reason. It might have been a hole in the foil or something. Okay, let's take a cut into this brisket. I'll 
give you guys a look. Looks like a good brisket to me. And we'll give this guy a slice. We'll coat it in the tallow phase mixture. And I'll get a slice of the flat as well. All right. All right, first up, let's try the point. Looks juicy, looks really good. Pulls apart really easily. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's the best bite of brisket I've had out of these two briskets. Again, it's buttery. The phase oil is buttery when you taste it by itself, but when it's mixed with the tallow and it's mixed with all these other flavors, you don't really get a big butter hit, which is interesting. The mouthfeel is a lot thinner, which is consistent with what I tasted at Franklin Barbecue. A lot thinner than tallow. Mmm. Mmm. And it's that extra hit of salt in the phase oil. The phase oil by itself is just a little bit salty. And it just gives the entire brisket this consistent salty taste, which I think really launches it into a new realm of flavor. New realm of flavor? What am I talking about? It makes it taste better. Okay, let's taste the flat here. That's really freaking tasty. Something about just the combination of the Wagyu tallow plus the phase oil that has kind of a little bit of a butter flavor. It's got other oils in it. It tastes more like a restaurant flavor of oil than just straight beefy, ultra beefy beef tallow. It tastes a lot closer to what I experienced at Franklin Barbecue than just straight tallow. And it tastes closer to what I experienced than the butter blend mixture that I just tried. And just for fun, someone in my comment section said that they think that what is being used on the Franklin brisket is Wagyu beef tallow mixed with Worcestershire sauce. So I'm gonna test that out by dipping this in or just coating one of the slices in, a, in an emulsion that I made. This is Wagyu beef tallow and some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce is uh, a liquid. It's, well, it's um, water soluble and the, the Wagyu beef tallow is fat soluble, obviously. So you have to emulsify it. So I don't know how well it would stick together and stay together during a long rest period, but let's give it a try. It tastes good, but you can definitely taste the Worcestershire sauce. I, I don't know if this is what Franklin Barbecue is using, but anything's possible. So I learned three important things in this taste test. The first one is that the phase oil, which is manufactured by the same company that manufactures the Sun Glow Butter Blend, European style stuff, it tasted more similar to the experience that I had at Franklin Barbecue and that I tasted on the brisket. That's probably because the same company makes both of these substances. Second, the phase oil mixture also tasted closer to what I tasted at Franklin Barbecue because it had a little bit of salt in it. It says no more than 3% salt, but you could definitely taste the salt. And it kind of made me wonder whether Franklin's might just be using, you know, straight tallow, but they're adding salt to it. And finally, and most importantly, both briskets tasted better than my normal briskets that I just wrap with straight tallow. It had a sort of subdued buttery flavor, a thinner oily mouthfeel, and it just balanced out the intense beefiness of the tallow a little bit more, and it just tasted better. That being said, I didn't really have a eureka moment where I thought that, oh, this tastes exactly like what I tasted at Franklin Barbecue, but that could be because I'm not using the Sun Glow Butter Blend. The other piece of discouraging evidence I discovered while editing this video is that there was turkey in contact with my brisket at the restaurant. So that Sun Glow Butter Blend on the turkey very well could have gotten all over my brisket somehow. I do remember the meat cutter kind of taking the turkey out and dipping it in some sort of buttery liquid, but it was a really thin liquid, and then putting it on my tray, and then she took a brisket out. She unwrapped the brisket, and her hands were coated in tallow. She was slightly slicing the brisket and then she was coating the slices of brisket on her hand, her gloved hands, with the tallow mixture. So there could have been some cross-contamination there where the Sun Glow Butter Blend mixture they were coating their turkey slices with somehow got on her hands and then that got onto the brisket in addition to the tallow and that's what's causing me to think that there's some sort of crazy conspiracy theory here that there's 
Sun Glow Butter Blend in the tallow, but based on my perception and my experience at the time, it really did seem like there was an intentional mixture of something buttery and oily with that tallow and that it was coating all the brisket slices really evenly. So this theory is definitely not confirmed, but it's also not crazy. I would say it's convincing. There is definitely a possibility, a probability even, that some of that Sun Glow butter blend that is presumably within that turkey juice that the turkey was dipped in got onto my brisket somehow in some trace amounts. But I think the bigger question is, are they intentionally mixing that Sun Glow butter blend with the tallow? That is the bigger question. And as a result of this video, I think there's a convincing argument to be made, but it needs more evidence. In any event, whether I tasted the butter blend on my brisket by accident or it was intentional, it made me realize that beef tallow mixed with butter blend tastes really freaking good and it tastes better than just adding straight tallow to my briskets. And also adding salt to the tallow also makes it taste better. I've tried wrapping with just clarified butter in the past and I also think that tastes better than just straight tallow. So I'm gonna be doing some experiments with different blends of tallow and butter and butter blends and other ingredients including salt over the next few months. You can see the results of those experiments in these videos when they come out. And I also do other little experiments and experiments that lead up to posting a video. And I post those on my Patreon. If you go to the description box below, you can click on my Patreon link. And if you join, you'll get access to a private Discord chat community that is full of people that are super enthusiastic about barbecue. And I'll often post the results of my experiments there. And you can get direct access to me there if you have any questions. So I hope to see you there and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Happy smoking.